you doing? We are going to be doing another episode of Cracking Packs. I've got a package in the mail. I think I know what these are. They should be my duresses. Um, so, fingers crossed if these are. They're great. If not, uh, I'm going to wonder where the hell my duresses was. Uh, okay, so we've got a little business card. Oh, they even threw in some stickers. Oh, that's awesome. Geek some. You freaking rock. Thank you for your order. Geeksum, geeksum sellings dot proton dot me. So use proton mail. Smart. Smart. A plus on the pa uh, a, a plus on the uh packaging. Love the business sticker uh, thing. Uh business cards. Love the little stickers. I cannot wait to put these uh on like a deck box or something like that to advertise your company. And of course, here inside is the prize give me the prize the prize give me the prize now if you know the movie that that song is from or even even if you know the band or the song you and me can be friends if not you got problems yes i cut my hair <laughs> it's not but it's something even better it's my kumal I'm sorry, I want to cry. I've been, I don't know why, but I'm really emotional the last couple of weeks, ever since I found out that my uh, mentor uh, passed away. I talked about him in my previous Coffee Time with Cobra. Um, I remember, this is not the, the original Kamal from, from um, Savage. This is a reprint of Kamal, but it doesn't matter. It's still Kamal, Kamal Green. I've got a Kamal Red on the way, and I don't remember ordering these ones. What did it give me? Oh, that's an interesting basic plan. What's Mystic Enforcer, Pro Black, Giant Spider, Werebear. Oh, I remember Werebear back in the day. Ah, yeah, I remember Werebear. So they threw in some extras and they even threw in Bonnie, Bonnie Paul, uh, clear cutter. I don't remember ordering her or these, but I, I remember ordering the Kamal. I did pay a little bit more than what I normally would. So I guess that's probably their way of saying thank you again. Big thank you to uh, Geeksum. I'll put a business card right, right here. Geeksum. Okay. Um, like I said, there's their email address. Geeksum sellings at protonmail.me. Again, big thank you to these guys. You guys rock. See, there you go. Thank you for supporting a small business. See, this, 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 this is what I love. This is what I love. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the, the, the stickers. The stickers was just a bonus. The fact you threw these in too. Moto Benny to you. Moto Benny, my friend. Moto Benny. And I've, I've got my Kamal. I remember when I boosted my first Kamal Green. I was at the Hobby Shoppy in Price, Utah. I had just finished fucking 14 hour shift working at for Castle Valley Blast and Vac. And I had coal dust under my fingernails. I could feel it on my teeth. And uh, coal ash and whatnot. I came in and the the set had just dropped and I was like, I want to boost the box. And the guy looks at me and goes, what? His name, his name was Pete, Pete Horikado. Love you, Pete. Um, the look on his face when I said, I want an entire booster box. But I thought I was joking until I pulled out two crisp $100 bills and went, I want a booster box, please. The whole booster box, sealed booster box, please. And he goes, okay. Reaches down, pulls it out. He only had three booster boxes total, and he was doing a booster draft. So one of those boxes was ripped open and was being give, divvied out to the players. I purchased the booster box, and I think it was a no, the third, the third boost, the third booster like this that I opened up, and Kamal Fista Corosa was in there, and everyone was like, "Oh my god!" They were going nuts because at the time he was like. 30 40 bucks and i was like oh cool 
So I just put them down and I hand on the rest of the boosters and yada yada yada. I even had some of the um kids there crack open some of the boosters and whatnot and um it was interesting. So that aside, we've got six packs. Six packs of Outlaws to Thunder Junction. It's cost me thirty pounds for these bloody packs. They're six pounds each. Okay, it cost me thirty quid. These, I know, it's, um, they're doing a, a promo, buy three for 15, so there you go, three for 15. So. But the point is, um, we're going to be cracking these packs, these are still sealed, I, like I said, I bought them from my local hobby shop here in Reading. Um, so, that's, I'm looking for a grindstone, or a necroplasm. Um, oof, oof. Now, these are the little, oh. I love the art on these cards. Oh, I want art like this as deck sleeves, you know? Really beautiful art. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. So we're going to look at the commons first. So we've got Snake Skin Veil. Uh, instant for one green. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control. It gains hex proof until the end of turn. Interesting. Uh, prickly Pear. Two and a red creature, plant mercenary. It's a two-two. When prickly pear enters the battlefield, create a one-one red mercenary token with tap. This target creature control gets plus one to the end of the turn and activate it only as if it was a sorcery. I've actually had got a creature like that in my magic online deck. So um here it's lullaby. One and a white. Destroy a tapped target creature, you gain two life. Sorcery. Stop cold, three and a blue, enchantment aura, flash, enchant artifact or creature. When stop the cold enters the battlefield, tap enchanted permanent, enchanted permanent loses all abilities and doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Interesting. Hmm. That's a keeper to look at. Uh, consuming ashes, two and two black in instant, exile target creature if it had mana value of three or less surveil surveil two look at the top two cards of your library and put them back in any number put any number of them into your grave put any put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest on top of your library in any order okay so it's a possible mill that's actually not a bad card for a possible mill slash um uh, uh revamp outlaws fury two and a red Creatures you control get plus two until the end of turn. If you control an outlaw, exile the top card of your library until the end of the turn. Next turn, you may play that that card. Assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks are outlaws. First uncommon, lively dirge. One and a black sorcery spree. Choose one or more additional costs. Plus one. Search your library for a card and put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. Or plus two, return up to two creature cards with total mana cost of value four or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. That, let's see. So that would be a total of four and a black to return creatures to. Oh, okay, all right, all right, I'll see where that's going. Uh, shifting grip, uh, shifting grift. Uh, two blue, uh, spree, choose one or more additional costs, plus two exchange control of two target creatures, plus one exchange control of two target creature artifacts, plus one exchange control of two target enchantments. Okay, that's interesting. Cunning Coyote, one and a, one and a red, haste. When Cunning Coyote enters the battlefield, another creature control gets plus one, plus one, and gains haste until the end of turn. Plot for one and a red. You may pay one and a red, and exile this card from your hand. Then cast it as a sorcery on late, on later turns without paying its mana cost. Plot only as a sorcery. Okay. So it's basically one that you can summon on a, a, a later date. Slick Shot Lock Picker. Two and a blue. For a 2-3. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback to the end of the turn. And a flashback's cost is equal to its mana cost. Okay. And it has plot too, as has plot as well. Okay. Ah, and we have Archmage Newt, one and a blue. 
creature a salamander mount. When Archmage Newt deals combat damage to a player, target instant or sorcery card in your graveyard gains flashback until the end of the turn, and the flashback is equal to the mana cost. That, car that card gains flashback zero until the end of the turn if Archmage Newt is saddled. Okay, saddle three. So you've got to pay three, which is a creature power of three that can that can saddle it. Ooh, prior enchantment aura, turn a white enchanted creature. All damage that would be dealt to you is indebted to enchanted creature instead. I remember there was a combo that you could do to prior. You put prior on uh, Urza, is, is it Urzaquan's angel. It was an indestructible angel, so you basically couldn't die. And it also had the ability which said that your opponent can't win the... You can't lose the game, and your opponent can't win the game. <laughs> and we got two foilies. Nice, we got a foily land desert. Battlefield tapped, and it's a battlefield deals one damage to target opponent for a black or a green. Okay. Uh, spree, phantom interface. Uh, plus, it's a blue, but it's got plus three. Create a 2-2 two -two white spirit creature token with flying. Or plus one counter target spell unless its controller pays two. Ooh. So it's creature summon. Or counter spell. Nice. That's a utility spell then, pretty much. Okay, so that was, that for, that was our first pack. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them like so. Next pack. Some of you guys seem to like these videos, so that's why I'm doing them a lot more. Alright. Again, this pack. Discover the coolest cards. Ah, oh, it's a mercenary token. Interesting. Interesting. So we're going to flip it over. Okay. Desert's due. One in a black. Target creature gets neg two, neg two, ten in a turn. Gets an additional neg one, neg one in a turn for each desert you control. That land. That land's a desert. Okay, cool. Thrown from the saddle, one on a green. Target creature you control gets plus one plus one ten turn and put well one counter on and on it instead. If it's a mount, then it deals damage equal to its power to a target creature you don't control. Interesting. That is interesting. Mind Raider, two and a ball, uh, two and a red, is a three two with trample. When it enters the battlefield under your control, create a treasure token. Interesting. Take up shield, one on a white. Put a one on counter target creature. It gains life link and indestructible to the end of the turn. Okay. Um, Silver Deputy, two for an artifact creature. Mercenary, one and a two. Um, when you enter the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card or a desert card. Reveal it and shuffle then and, and then reveal it, then shuffle and put it on top. Tap target creature gets plus zero, plus one plus zero at the end of the turn. Activate if it was a sorcery. That that with um ooh I'm getting some ideas with him slick shot vault buster that's a mouthful slick shot vault buster two and a blue vigilance for a one four human rogue uh gets plus two plus zero as long as you've committed a crime this turn okay so it's a pumper sterling keykeeper one and a white two tap 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 target non-mounted creature. Okay. Red Rock Sentinel. Three for a 2-4. Defender. Two. Sacrifice a land. Draw a card. Would you create a treasure token? Okay. Sacrifice an artifact. Add one. Yeah, okay. So it's, man it's a form of mana gen. Deep Muck Desperado. Two and a blue. <sighs> Whenever you commit a crime, each opponent mills three cards. Disability triggers only once per turn. Okay. Blood Hustler, one and a one and a black creature, vampire rogue. It's a one one. Whenever you commit a crime, put a one one counter on this. Ability triggers only one only once each turn. Three and a black. Target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay. Tiny Bones, the pickpocket. What's up, Tiny? How you doing, my little dude? Tiny's going for about twelve dollars right now. So I actually think I made I made up for a booster here. Okay, whenever Tiny Bones the pickpocket does combat damage to a player, you may cast a non-land permanent card from that player's graveyard, and the mana 
and mana of any type can be spent to cast the spell. Oh, <laughs> nice. And we've got Mind Break Trap. Two and two blue. Instant Trap. If an opponent casts three or more spells this turn, you may pay zero. Rather than pay this spell's mana cost, exile any number of target spells. Ooh. And we've got a Foily Rare. Instant. Uh, one for it. Great Train Heist. Spree, so you can pump it and do extra abilities. Interesting. And we've got a Foily Land. Nice. No no four land art. I don't think there's any four land art for this series. That's, that's pack two. Let's open up pack three. Again, I got these boosters at my local hobby store. Again. Ooh, we've got a nice one. This one is 45 of... I know some of them are signed. Oh, that one's nice. It's a nice little card. Use them as dividers or something like that. Alright, so... Jailbreak scheme. Ooh, Nazami Lengbreaker. I've seen this Rat Warlock. I've actually got him in my Magic uh, the Gathering Online deck. Yeah. I use him a lot to create more rats. Uh, <laughs> Catracula. Yeah. Catracula. Uh, four and two green. The spell costs one less if you cast... If you cast less... To cast if you control a desert. So it'll be three and two, two green. Reach whenever it becomes target spell ability. Opponent coach may draw a card. Dead Eye Duelist. Reach. One and tap. And it deals one damage to a target opponent. That, along with certain enchantments, uh, certain artifacts can be quite deadly. Vengeful Town Folk. Uh, whenever one or more other creatures you control dies, put a one on counter on Vengeful Townsfolk. Okay. Uh, ankle Bite. Fighter. Uh, it's one, one, one for one with Death Touch. Okay, cool. Make your own luck. Multicolored uh, sorcery. Forsaken Miner. Now, I know that. So I, I like the art that's on this card. Yeah, I'll show it to you. I like. I love the art. You know what? Here, I'll show it on here. See, I love the art that's on this card it's beautiful art on that card um it's a one black for two two but it can't block whenever you commit a crime you pay one black if you do a return forsaken mana from your graveyard to the battlefield i think that this um because it doesn't come in tapped if you use this with a a red haste deck oh, oh just oh oh Trust me, he, he, he will be doing some damage. Tomb Crawler. Again, I have one of these in my virtual, uh, in my Magic the Gathering Online deck. So they're all for, uh, zero, zero, 04 for 2. Ruthless Lawbreaker. 3 2. You may sacrifice another creature if you do. Destroy a target non land permanent. Ooh. Ooh. Insatiable Advice. Address. No. Adri Adri Adversity? Advasi? Anyway, uh, English. Don't speak it down. Um, one black. Put a pumper of two. Search your library for a card. Then shuffle your, then shuffle and put a card on top. Or two black. And target player draws three cards. And you lose three life. Oh, and lose three life. That target player. Okay. Heartless Pillage. Sorcery. Target opponent discards two cards. Raid. If you attack this turn, create a treasure token. Two and a black. That could go in my my discard deck. Uh, Prosperous Tycoon, Uncommon, White Foily, and a Blue Mana. Hey, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. So that's pack three. Let's go to pack four. If I, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip most of the commons. But if I see a common that I think is going to like, like land art or, or things of that nature that looks good, I will let you guys know. I'll stop and show you. Alright, so again, we've got a little token here. What is it? It's a blue cow, legendary token creature, ox. We'll just put that there. Uh, Trinidad Armax, Great Seagull, Skullduggery. Uh, explosive Diamond. Re Rodeo Pyromaniacs, 
Maybe cast your first spell each turn, add two red. Okay. Some mana ramp. Vicious torment. Rambling possum. Rise of the varmints. Intimidation campaign. Vladimir New Blood. Legendary creature, vampire. 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you commit a crime, put a 1-1 one, one counter on him. Only triggers only once each turn. Targeting an opponent's anything they control and or cards in their graveyard is a crime. As long as Vladimir has 4 or more 1-1 one, one counters on it, it has menace and lifelink. So basically you got to do that. In 2 turns, you can turn him into a 4-4. Four, four. Very nice. Fling! Uh, instant good. His spell is sacrifice creature. Fling does damage equal to sacrifice creature's power to any target. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Razzle Dazzle. Whenever you cast a second spell each turn, put a long counter on Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzler. It can't be blocked this turn. Okay. And then we've got Eroded Canyon. It's another desert. And there's a battlefield. Does one damage to target opponent. And... Blue or red. Interesting. Interesting. That is very interesting. That's pack four. Let's do pack five. Again, this is not sponsored. Uh, I, I pay for these out my own money. If you feel like you want to contribute, there is a donation link down below, guys, in the video description. Greatly appreciate it. Alright, so we've got another token. Ooh. Treasure token. Rooftop assassin. Okay. Shark is a shark. Lone shark. Shark rogue. That would cost two more spells this turn to draw a card. Okay. Satan. Uh, free strider commander. Ah, another rock, red rock sentinel. Interesting. Take for a ride. Okay. Unscrupulous contractor. Hmm, this plot. Okay, so big steed, creature, unicorn mount, first strike, life link, new sacrifice. Okay. Hitless Carnage. More permanent you control and draw that many cards. Plot. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. Humiliate. One white, one black. Target opponent reveals his or her land. You then choose an online card from it. That player discards that card, put one one counter on a creature you control. Are they foily? So we've got three rares? this time around we did we got three rares oh this was a good pack this was a damn good pack um slick shot show off creature bird wizard flying haste one two for two uh whenever you cast a non, non creature spell it gets plus two plus zero two in the turn and it has plot and we have a desert here and the battlefield and it's this so we've gotten three deserts so far not too shabby not too shabby at all and our last pack, unfortunately, we haven't got a grindstone, um, um, millstone. No, it's, yeah, yeah, it's grindstone. We haven't gotten a grindstone or any other kind of um, one that we're, we're looking for. This set has been reproducing, reprinting a, a bunch of old like, ne necro, was it necromance, necro, necrofants, necrofants has been um, reprinted in this set. Um, why, why can't I open up this boost? Jeez. Like, hello, bruh. Bruh. You, you, made, you made me get freaking violent on you. Jesus. <laughs> why did you make me get violent? I didn't even choose violence. I didn't want to. Let's take a look. Oh, that's not a bad little one. That's not bad at all. I can see that as a mouse pad or something like that. That's a nice little art. Nice art. Alright. Uh, Desert's due again. From to again. 
Mine Raider again, wake up shield again. Oh, another Silver's Deputy, another Sterling Keeper, the Djinn, and the Foul, don't know about that one. Hell Spa Brute, Gold Rush, Hon Honest, Rotassen, Battlefield, target creature card from graveyard in your hand, creature spells cost. You cast cost one less to cast. Okay. Nice. Three steps ahead. Okay. This retribution. Quick draw. Oh, foily black swamp. Done. Done. I'm done. I'm happy. <laughs> this right here just made my day. Look at this. Look at how it reacts. To the, oh, look at that. And it's not even bent. Oh, what? See, whatever you've done, little foilies, bless you. Oh, look at that. Oh, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. I don't know how much that's going to be. I know that's probably going to be worth a few bob. Oh, what can I say? We've got some nice good cards. We've got, you know, we've got a few few rares in there that I, I'm, I'm going to keep. I've got a few others I'm going to probably, you know, throw it back up on eBay. Um, make up for a little bit. I'm actually in the process of collecting these, um, these cards. Um, I've got a few, I've got one that's signed, actually. Um, see, as you can see, we've got, we've got, a, we've got a few boosters from, from that set. I like that set. I like this set. I really do. I'm thinking about just buying a booster box. Ah, there you go. See, this, but this one's signed. And I'm like, are they all signed? Because <laughs> if they're all signed, I want, I want the ones that are signed. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I, I do. I, I just, I know it sounds silly, but I just, I, I like what I like, man. Don't, don't judge me, monkeys. <laughs> if you know the movie, what that's from. <laughs> we can be friends. If you don't know the movie, edumacate yourself. All right, so I'm going to take my Kamal out, put him in the collection. Yes, I do play with cards in my collection. No joke, I do. If you don't believe me, uh, you know I've got a player set of Howling Minds. Oh, look, I've got two Howling Minds in here, which means the other two are in a library, same as my millstones. Yeah, if you take a look, there's two millstones in here. So the other two millstones are in a library. Um, same as my Pontiffs of Black, uh, Pontiffs of Blight. Um, the ones I've only got one of right now is Phage, Abaddon, Avatar of Woe. Um, I don't have a full set of Dark Moor uh, Sorcerer's Queen. I've only got the two. I need two more for a complete set. For uh, same as I can as I've only got the one of him. I've got three foily um nim Vizettes, the fire mines um because nim and arcanus is a win condition um what i mean by that is if you've got an arcanus on the field and you've got a nim on the field there's enchant blue enchantments you can get that says uh, uh tap the enchantment to untap the creature well i used to play that enchantment four copies of that enchantment on arcanus so tap it that's three tap the enchantment to untap him tap him again that's another three that's six tap the second the third second enchantment to untap him tap him again that's another three. that's another three tap <laughs> the other enchantment to untap him tap him again that's another that's 12 so he, i'm drawing 12 cards and niv does 12 damage directly to a person's face just for drawing cards and then of course you add in underworld dreams you know as well you you can you can make a, a, a you can make it work uh, i used to have ways of making um mana tap for any color so yeah what can i say guys um i have 
been working on re-getting my collection back um it's never going to be as big as it was before um i've spoken about some of the cards i had in the past um i like the fact that i'm still in the process of collecting every liliana i've got two so far and i've got my eye on two others on uh, on ebay um yes i want to own every version of liliana we've got death mage death majesty um i'm going to own literally every copy of Liliana that there is and I'm going to add these guys uh to the collection real quick and yes I have Asmodeus the Archfiend no I will not sell him or trade him okay the common and the uncommon I will put in my box but the rare will go into the collection um now these are not sorted by any by colors or anything by any means this is just to save time this is exactly how i just put them in i will be coming back through and then going white red black blue yada 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 um these are my dragons um these are not the legendary elder dragons like nickel bolus and a few others that i had i had an original nickel bolus i might add and i even had an altered card art nickel bolus where the artist who drew nicobolus actually drawed him to look like godzilla and signed the card and back back in the day magic had a rule saying as long as the card is signed by the artist it is what it is and so i was the only person who actually only ever truly first had a godzilla in magic the gathering and yeah uh, and unfortunately that card and among many others are now gone and I've been trying my best to get them back from, yeah, so, so I'm going to put, the rares in here, but don't get me wrong, I know there's going to be some, not like the Lively Dirge, I know I'm going to use her. So I will be putting her in here. Foilies, I, I I want to try and put foilies in their own separate um, section. And so this is what I got. This is what happens, guys, when when you foily lands. I don't really, yeah, unless it's like a full art black swamp like what I got. Oh my god, I can't believe I got that. That was like. A second or third um is there anything else in here uh, oh see cards that i know i'm going to use i will put to the side you know and say this is what i'm going to use and cards i'm not going to use i tend to just put them in my Go get some more of him because he's definitely going in a commander deck. Sorry, but he is. <laughs> he screams commander. So this may look completely unorganized, and it is for now. <laughs> like I said, and it is for now. But uh, I'll, I'll reorganize it when I've got time. I used to be a big mono color player, mono black, mono green, mono red, um, etc., etc. But I I prefer. I'm sorry, I just keep getting distracted by this card. It's just so beautiful. I'm sorry, it's just... and it is. It's just so beautiful to me. The art on it and everything. Oh, I want that skull tattooed like, on my hand. Then with the, sm you know what? Oh, 
Oh, yes. Even with like, oh. Oh, yes. You're coming with me to my local tattoo shop. I'm going to get that tattooed. I'm legit going to get that tattooed. <laughs> you heard it here, guys. Next video you see, I'm going to have that tattooed on me. Honest racing. He looks like he's going to be fine. Three steps ahead. See, I'm not a blue player as much as I used to be. And, and I did. I used to be a really big blue player. Um, I used to do an, an Arcana, like I said, Arcana's an Invisette combo. And people used to hate my um, Nimvazet Arcana's uh, library. They used to... They used to fucking hate it. And I mean hate it. Humiliate there. There we go. Nice. Do I think I got my thirty pounds worth? Um. Yeah, I do actually. Um. I think I got my thirty pounds worth mostly because. I got cards that I know I'm going to play, that I know I'm going to have fun with. Commander is on Wednesday, so tomorrow. So I'm going to be looking at building me a Commander deck using Geth and or Avalon the Despoiler. Oh, I did him dirty with you. Anyway, so anyway, guys. Um, yeah, do I think that I got my, my money's worth? absolutely i do i think i got my money's worth um in fact i'm thinking about saving up my shekels and buying an entire booster box and just doing a full booster opening uh if you guys like that i like, like like that idea please hit the uh like button down below leave a comment say yeah we'd like to see it or no you don't want to see it again i like any and all feedback what do you think of the haircut got it done today um so like i said guys i would greatly appreciate it uh, until then, um, keep, keep your shells down, keep your enemies down. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. Until next time.